Question 42. Given f of x equals x plus 2 all squared, for x less than or equal to negative 1, write the equation of y equals the inverse function of x. So this is an inverse question. And for the inverse to be a function, we have to have this domain restriction right here. And let me just explain that for a second. Nice review of grade uh, 11. Right, this is a parabola at negative 1, so it's shifted 1 to the left. But we did this in grade 11, and this parabola would open up, uh, would open up, and so it kind of looks like this. Now, where they say x is less than or equal to negative 1, they only want this left side of the parabola. Okay, that's what we're talking about. So we are not talking about this right side of the parabola. We're talking about the left side. So that's why uh, the inverse is a function. The reason the inverse is a function is because this left side of the parabola would pass both, well, the, hor uh, the vertical line test for a function, obviously, and it would pass the horizontal line test of a function if we only take the left-hand side of the parabola. So anyways, let's just find the um, inverse algebraically. So the first step that we do is we switch x and y. And so uh, our original equation was y equal x plus 1 all squared. Uh, for x less than or equal to negative 1, let's switch x and y. So my new equation becomes x equal y plus 1 squared, where y is less than or equal to negative 1. So now we want to isolate y. Isolate y. So we start by square rooting both sides so we get plus or minus the square root of x equals y plus 1 right so this just the inverse of squaring is square rooting and we know we have to take the plus or minus so if we solve for y we get y equals uh, plus or minus root x uh, minus 1, right? I just wrote y on the left, but this would essentially move over here. Okay, so this is not a function as it is written. So we need to figure out, uh, based on this restriction that we said, y less than or equal to negative 1, what part do we want? Well, we have a positive part to this function or a negative part course we know the square root graph starts at 0 so if we want y to be less than or equal to minus 1 uh, we cannot have the positives so our inverse function that we want are the negative root x minus 1 and this is very tricky but again why is that true because if we look at the range of this graph right here, if we look at the range of this graph right here, right, the smallest x will ever be is 0. And then we have 0 minus 1, which is minus 1. For large values of x, like 25, the square root of 25 is 5 minus 5. Minus 1 would give us a minus 6, which satisfies our original uh, statement up here that y has to be less than or equal to minus 1. All right, so I hope that uh, helps you out. It is a little tricky as to which part to keep, but this is certainly the part that we want. If you would like to see what the inverse graph would look like, Let's just complete this. Of course, we know this is negative 2, 1. And the coordinates of this point right here are negative 1, 0. So let me in blue graph the inverse point, the inverse graph. 
So negative 2, 1, that point would become 1, negative 2. And negative 1, 0 would become 0 and negative 1. So let's continue on. This is negative 1. So 0, negative 1 goes right here. And then negative 1, negative 2, apologize for this, would be about right here. So the inverse of that parabola would make, kind of, well, ha inverse of half a parabola would kind of make half a sideways parabola. All right, so uh, I think that makes it a little clearer, at least I hope. And again, the graph of this thing I just drew is minus root x minus 1. Uh, a little generally, right, if you want the left side of this parabola, then the inverse of that left side will be the bottom side of the other parabola.